Hello and welcome to Eurochem TV, where we discuss and demonstrate all things Eurochem. Today's topic is the proper use and application of Eurochem ChemFill 2K HS Primer Surfacer. Two component or 2K primer surfacers, such as ChemFill Polyurethane Primer Surfacers, offer the best filling and sanding properties to provide a smooth surface ready for painting. ChemFill is recommended over properly prepared automotive surfaces including bare steel, aluminum, fiberglass, factory paint finishes, body fillers, and many common automotive plastics. ChemFill will adhere to properly prepared bare steel and aluminum and provide some corrosion resistance. However, the use of EP21 epoxy primer directly to properly prepared materials prior to application of ChemFill provides a system with substantially better corrosion resistance than any direct metal urethane primer. ChemFill UP61 is currently available for use only in areas that do not require a low VOC product. Most of the United States does not require a low VOC product, but some areas do, including most of California, Maryland, Delaware, and potentially other areas as regulations evolve. Always check local regulations before purchasing. Before you start mixing and painting, make sure your parts have been sanded and cleaned properly and conditions are good for painting. To properly prepare your bare metal parts for paint, use Eurochem's SBWG Wax and Grease Remover, then dry sand with any one grit in the P80 to P220 range, followed by cleaning again with SBWG. All other surfaces should be cleaned with SBWG, sanded with any one grit in the P180 to P400 range, and cleaned again with SBWG. For more details on the proper use of our cleaners, refer to our video tech sheets for surface cleaners on our website or here on Eurochem TV. As with any automotive finish, proper painting conditions are important for obtaining the best results. It's best to paint in temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit project surface temperature. Keep in mind that the conditions outside are brought into your paint booth through your booth intake. Moisture should be a concern when applying automotive finishes, so unless your paint booth has the ability to heat your parts well above the dew point, you should not paint when raining, dew on the ground, or fog in the air. Parts painted at temperatures near the dew point can easily condensate thin layers of moisture, which are often not visible on the part or in the paint film itself that can cause failure to the finish. Low humidity blue sky days are best conditions for painting provided you can get your part temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have your project properly prepared for paint and the conditions are good for painting, start by wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment and only use this product in areas that are free of ignition sources such as heat, sparks, or open flames. ChemFill UP61 is very high in solids at over 70%, and some of those solids will slowly settle over time, so start by mixing well prior to activating. Hand stirring with a paint stick is generally sufficient to reincorporate any solids that may have settled to the bottom over time. Be sure to scrape the bottom of the can to lift and stir any solids back into a smooth, consistent state. ChemFill UP61 can be mixed 4 to 1 by volume with Eurochem's UA40, 41, or 42 series activator and used without reduction when using large fluid tip primer guns with 1.8 to 2.2 millimeter fluid tips. However, for best results, we recommend mixing 4 1 to 1 by volume with activator and reducer. ChemFill mixed 4 1 to 1 applies easily from a 1.3 to 1.6 millimeter fluid tip and dries to a smoother finish that requires less sanding than unreduced mixes applied from large fluid tip primer guns. Also, applying the product mixed 4 1 to 1 reduces the chances of solvent entrapment in thick films, and the same build can be achieved with an additional coat, maybe two. Eurochem mixing cups have a 4 1 to 1 column to easily mix ChemFill accurately. If you are new to paint mixing cups, we go into this in more detail with our video on how to use Eurochem paint cups. After adding all ingredients, mix well with a paint stick, scraping the sides and bottom occasionally to ensure it all gets mixed properly. At this point, you're ready to strain it into your paint gun. 
For best atomization, spray pressure should be set to 22 to 30 PSI at the trigger. For gravity-fed HVLP spray guns, or 40 to 55 PSI for siphon-fed spray guns. For reduced pressure spray guns, refer to the manufacturer's recommendations for a good starting point. Don't forget to check the volume adjustment knob on your spray gun. Each time you use your spray gun, it's a good practice to screw the fluid adjustment clockwise all the way to hand tight, then count the rotations as you turn it counterclockwise to open it up. With Chemfill UP61, four turns out from hand tight is generally a good starting point. This will vary depending on your particular setup. Now check your spray pattern. The pattern should be a tight and uniform ellipse shape. If not, you may need to clean some of the small airways in your spray tip or air cap. Once you have a good spray pattern, it's a good idea to spray a test panel to make sure the product flows well and you are happy with your settings. Apply two to four medium wet to wet coats with 50% overlap. A six to eight inch fan pattern at approximately a six inch standoff or distance from the surface is a good general rule. Be sure to allow 15 minutes flash between each coat to avoid solvent entrapment. After your last coat, clean your gun immediately with a gun cleaning solvent, lacquer thinner, acetone, or MEK. Check local regulations for compliant gun cleaner options. For best sanding, allow Chemfill UP61 to cure at least two hours at 75 degrees Fahrenheit before sanding. Check the provided material data sheet of the next layer you will be applying for proper finished sanding grit before proceeding. That's a wrap for our video on the proper use of Chemfill UP61 HS Polyurethane Primer Surfacer. This product and thousands more are available online at www.thecoatingstore.com or ask your local auto paint dealer to contact us to become a stocking distributor. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Eurochem TV, so you don't miss other great videos. Thanks for watching.